Hey guys, how's it going? So for this vlog today, I'm going to show you two things. First thing, I'm going to show you an update uh, to my office. Uh, you know, I did a vlog about my office makeover, phase one, and we're kind of stalled at the moment on the next phase, which is putting a desk behind me that's going to eventually fold down. Um, we were going to have some wood cut at Lowe's, but because of the pandemic that's going on, they're kind of backed up, and to make matters worse, their saw broke. So, yeah, they can't cut any wood if the saw is broke. And, and then, of course, with the pandemic, they were not sending anybody out to fix these saws. So, yeah, we're kind of at a standstill right now on figuring out what to do about the desk. But we have been working on some other areas of the office, and I'll show you just a little bit. The rest of it is a mess, so I can't show you a whole lot. So here we go. So the last time you saw this room, we didn't have any of the furniture really put back in. But now, as you see, we got the TV set up in the entertainment center. That's my ladder with all of my games. I got that set up in here. And we finally got the day bed set up. So whenever we have guests coming over to stay, they've got some place to sleep. And another thing we've done is we've hung some of my husband's um, autographs and posters that he has. I promised him once we got the office set up, we would do some of that. And then over here, I've got some collages that I have put together of uh, events that have happened in my life. And we've also got some more autographs up top here. Let me see if I can maneuver over here. My husband collects autographs from all kinds of celebrities. So, yeah, I told him we could finally display some of them. And that's what we've done. So we've displayed some of them up here. So, and then my bookcases. We finally got them all put in here, but as you know, they're still kind of messy. I still need to work on organizing a little bit. But yeah, so this is what we've been working on in the office, and this is the current stage right now. So as you see, we've been decorating, and we've got a couple of things set up. So it's, it's starting to look more and more like a, an office slash game room slash guest room, whatever we need it for at the time. But with it still kind of being in a little bit of disarray, it makes it hard for me to work down here. So hence why I haven't really recorded videos down here yet. But I decided since I'm working down here today, I wanted to show you a little bit of the office. And now the second part of the purpose of this vlog is to show you what I am working on. I am currently digitizing my dad's photo collection. Now, I have been trying to get these photos over to my house so I would be able to digitize them for my dad so nothing would happen to them. But he he doesn't like to let go of things. <laughs> he, he gets very anxious and nervous when I start taking things out of his house. And understandably so, you know, it is his stuff and he doesn't want anything to happen to it. He, he knows where it is in their house and as long as it's there, he feels safe. I understand that completely, I'm the same way. But at the same time, I do want to make sure that these photos are, you know, saved and preserved uh, for future generations. Because there are a lot of photos of him as a baby uh, from the 1940s and other photos of family and photos of, fam you know, get-togethers, vacations and such. So I want to be sure, again, like I said, that these are preserved. So I Finally was able to get the box out of my dad's house with his permission. He knew. I explained to him what I was doing. And at first he was very nervous, but he did let me do that. So I've been slowly trying to organize them first, and now I'm digitizing some of them. And I, I kind of put it off a little bit with a lot going on until I got a phone call from my Uncle Marty the other day, my dad's brother. He was looking for a specific uh, photo, and I'm sure Dad was having a fit because the box was not at his house. So I figured I'd better get this done. So I wanted to show you the process of what I'm doing. Okay, so this is just one box of photos that I am currently going through, and they have been organized. I took some time and divided them up by groupings. Um, I have a spot for uh, lake photos, um, old and recent. Um, lake being Bull Shoals Lake. If you've watched my videos, I talked recently about going down to Bull Shoals Lake. So I've got some old photos in here that I'm working on, and I've got others uh, from other places Dad has lived, such as Times Beach. That was an old town um, near Eureka that used to exist. And then pictures of my papa and grandma, 
and other uh, photos from the current house that they live in. So I've worked hard to digitize the photos that were in this box. These were photos that were already in this box. So I just, I made them, you know, a lot more organized. Like I said, I grouped them together based on, um, like I said, events that were happening. And this is from, you know, the lake. But if you've seen some of my blogs that I've talked about, I also grouped them by uh, the numbers that were on the backs of the Polaroids. I don't know if you can actually see these. Nope, not going to show up. But I was able to group them by the photo, the numbers on the photos. I wrote a blog about how I did this, um, so I'll put a link in the description for you to check that out. But yes, that was the first step before I even digitized any of these photos was I organized them. What I'm doing now is I'm digitizing them on my scanner and then I'm going to put them on through my computer. So my scanner is over here. I love this scanner. It is an HP OfficeJet uh, 8610. My parents have the better version of this one, and that one uh, you can do just a little bit more on. But I love this because I can actually scan uh, legal size documents, which, of course, do in genealogy, as you know. That sometimes happens. You come across legal size documents. So I love that I can actually scan them in. Um, those go through the top, the, the legal size documents. My parents have the better one, the better scanner that's a step up where you can actually scan legal size documents on the glass up here. So I wish I would have gotten that one, but I couldn't afford it at the time, and so I just got this one. But I love this for many different features. One, as you look over here, I can plug a flash drive into this. So I can scan directly onto a flash drive or, here, scan, see if you can see it. You can scan to a memory stick or a flash drive, or you can scan directly to your computer. Now, the quality is not going to be as good if it has to send through the computer. So I really recommend scanning it to a memory uh, device, but you've got a couple different ways that you can scan here. And, you know, you can scan, copy, fax. Um, you can even print photos from memory devices and set up whatever you want. So I, I do. I recommend this scanner, printer, um, fax machine, whatever, all of this all in one. I totally recommend it for any of your um, genealogy, digitization, whatever you need to do. Now, with as many photos as my dad has, there is no way that I would be able to scan all of these in one setting. I have sure tried. But it's not possible, you know, between life that happens and things that go on. And, and you don't really want to rush this process. You want to make sure everything is scanned properly and recorded and everything. So it does. It takes time. So I'm going to show you a couple of tips of what I'm doing to uh, hopefully, you know, keep you in, organo in order and organized fashion so you don't get lost where you're scanning and what you're doing. Because, you know... Like me, sometimes I don't get to come back for a couple of days to start working, and I can't remember where I've left off. So let me show you a couple things of what I'm doing. Okay, so first off, uh, what I'm going to do, what I love about this scanner, is I can name the scans however I want to before I scan them in. So first what you're going to do, let me focus. Okay, so as you see, you can change the document type, which I'm changing to. I, I know TIFF is the better way to scan, but unfortunately, this scanner does not recognize that, so I have to do JPEG, but I do the highest resolution that I can, which is 600 DPI. But now, I can go in, and I can change the paper size, whatever size it's going to scan as, which I do automatic, because if you do just the paper size of 8.5 by 11, it does the full scan of, of the sheet but there's there's you have to crop the image then so I do automatic so it senses what size the item is that you are scanning and I haven't had any problems yet but I do check them obviously but I also love I can change the file name now I don't change the name for every individual photo but I do set it up to be a specific um, set of files. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so the so the specific file name that I have for this file set is dad underscore box underscore two because this is the second box that I have scanned for my dad. So that's what I set it as. So every single file name is going to have that beginning part 
and then it'll just count the numbers up from there. So let me show you what it looks like on the screen now. So as you open it up, you see how it's labeled dad underscore box underscore two, and then it counts up from there going all the way down to all of the photos that I have done. And as you'll see some of them, I have scanned front and back because on the back there is some stuff written sometimes or photo numbers or anything. So I make sure I scan the back, including the back of the Polaroids because as I've told you before, there are numbers on the back of these photos. So it'll help me with organizing later um, to know which photos go with which. But as you see, I just put in dad underscore box underscore two, and then it adds the numbers from there. So all I got to do is just continue to scan and scan and scan. And see, that's the flash drive. And I transfer them from that flash drive onto my external hard drive, which has about a couple of terabytes of space on here. Now, the reason I don't scan directly to this is because my scanner will not allow me to do it. It's too big for it to recognize everything that's on here. So yeah, unfortunately I have to go from a flash drive over to my external hard drive. But that way it's backed up. I have it backed up in two places and they are organized, like I said, by whatever we are doing. Now, as you see, Sometimes I don't exactly know where I have left off, so I leave a couple of notes for myself. First, I have this disc, and I put it exactly in the spot where I left off, because I have them divided up by uh, groupings, and then I have um, note cards in between each grouping to separate them. So what I do is I do a little, bit of, a little group at a time, and then I get to a stopping point. I put this little orange disc that I have here, I put that in the spot where I left off, and then I can come back and know where I left off. I also have a note card of what I named this particular box stored in here, and I will also take the flash drive and store it in this box too. So whenever I have to stop doing the work for the day, I can just close the box and I can take it. So I just take it and I can set it up there until I come back and I'm ready to scan again. So. There we go. So there you have it. That's the first step of my digitization process of my dad's photos. I still have a lot to do <laughs> when it comes to these photos. So I'm going to get off of here and uh, continue scanning in and getting done as much as I can. That's just the first part. The second part, which I can create another vlog later explaining, is me adding the metadata or editing the metadata that goes along with each one of those photos. That is a long and tedious process, but definitely will be very helpful in the end when it comes to organizi organizing these photos and making sure that, you know, I know who's in them, what's in them, the dates, locations, all of that. And it's very important. So I'll do another vlog later on because that, like I said, is going to take a while. But this is just the first stage. I need to get back to digitizing these photos and get them done because the day is just ticking away. Thanks for coming and watching my vlog today. I hope it was informative and I hope it was helpful and I'm hoping to be back again soon with us working on my desk and getting it done for the next phase of my office makeover. I really want to get working in my office. <laughs> so I'm hoping that maybe we can get that done soon. So anyways, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You know the whole spiel. Thumbs up. Don't forget to ring the no notification bell. All of that jazz. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to try to start making some more vlogs and videos. So stay tuned. You never know what's going to happen next. Bye. We'll see ya.